When voters cross country head to the polls this fall, there may be someone new overseeing the local election. That's because since 2020, more than one third of election officials are new to the job. A similar trend is happening right here in Minnesota. Caroline Cummings explores why in this CBS News collaboration. This is a poll pad, so this is how we check in our voters on election day. There's eight weeks until election day, but the business of elections hasn't really stopped for Michael Stahlberger this year. As an elections administrator, you come into this profession because you really believe in what you're doing. And that isn't the only hat he wears for Blue Earth County, because like most places in Minnesota, local elections officials do a lot of other work for their counties, too. Stahlberger has been working in elections since 2016, but recently that job has become more heavily scrutinized as some Americans Americans cast doubt on the integrity of our elections and the results post 2020. It really changed our work as a professional in the elections environment from being behind the scenes, kind of a numbers counter, a numbers cruncher sort of person, and really put us more in the forefront. And I think that's the big change I noticed from post 2020 to 2022 and then now into 2024 is that people are just expecting us to be much more open and out there. He says those new expectations have made some people in similar positions reconsider. They maybe have no doubts about what they're doing, that it's being done correctly, but that's just not where they're comfortable. Like I said, it's not what they signed up for, and so that's just different. We have to be able to kind of accept that change, and I think there's some folks that are just saying, I can find something else that's just as rewarding to me. As of January, more than one third of election officials in Minnesota are new compared to 2020. According to data from the Bipartisan Policy Center, the state saw turnover in 30 voting jurisdictions. What do you think is lost when people leave the positions that maybe they've had for at least a couple of election cycles? What is lost when they step away? Yeah, we're losing that experience. There's so much in elections that you have to have some sort of background, right? You need to know what you don't even know so that you can prevent that put prevent a potential issue from occurring. Turnover can be healthy and normal in elections administration. New people in these positions can thrive if they're supported and trained. It's what Michael Stahlberger says he tries to do for his colleagues, and it's not lost on Minnesota Secretary of State Steve Simon either. I think we're trying to be uh, good partners and teammates on a number of levels. One is providing new folks in counties who are in charge of elections more and earlier hands-on sort of training and advice. So we have sort of an orientation process for new folks coming in because of the turnover that we've experienced in the last several years. In the last two years, the state legislature has boosted protections for election workers in wake of new threats. It is illegal to intimidate an election worker and interfere with the process. Even though in Minnesota, the actual incidents of threats, harassment, and intimidation are much lower than in most other states, we don't want to be some of those other states. Uh, we don't want to wait until we're at the level of those other states to act. Stahlberger hopes there won't be a reason to test the strength of those new laws, but is heartened that they exist as a line of defense, as he and others like him work hard to ensure Minnesotans can cast their ballots with ease. And I'm really proud about how Minnesota, we do all band together in the elections world. In Mankato, Caroline Cummings, WCCO News.